Here's the answer for day one, problem one. Find the distance between these points. First, let's graph them. Negative 3 comma 1 is located here. 6 comma negative 5 is located here. Connect these together with a nice straight segment. We can find the length of this segment by creating a right triangle and using the Pythagorean theorem. So draw downward and then across to create the right triangle. Now let's find the length of these legs. Across the bottom is 3 plus 6, or 9 units, and vertically it is 6 units. You could get the 9 and the 6 by looking at the coordinates. If you look at the x-coordinates from negative 3 to positive 6 is 9 units. If you look at the y-coordinates from a 1 to a negative 5 is 6 units. Now let's call the length of the diagonal side C. The 6 is the letter A in the Pythagorean Theorem, and the 9 is the letter B in the Pythagorean Theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Substitute in 6 and 9. And then evaluate the left side. This makes 117 equals C squared. Now figure out the square root of 117. The answer is 10.8. It is 10.8 units between this dot and this dot. Day 1, Problem 2. Line A is parallel to F. That means we can find the slope of line A. It's the same as the slope of F, which is 4 fifths. We're also told line A passes through this ordered pair. We can call this number x1 and this number y1. Now let's make the equation, starting with the point-slope formula. Once you've written down the formula, make your substitutions. For y1, put in negative 5. For m, put in 4 fifths. And for x1, put in negative 1. All of the double negatives can be written as positive signs, which will create the final answer. Here is the equation of our line. Now we can graph the line. It goes through negative 1 comma negative 5, which is located here. And it has a slope of up 4 over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here is the diagonal line. 